Hello and welcome back to From the Depths And yes, this is another de helicopter that uses the same breadboard that I had on the last helicopter But this one is more of a gunship as you can see By the way, I didn't finish uh, decorating this thing because it's still well work in progress I might actually put another passive radar up here now that I think about it but yeah, this thing will dodge cram and missiles. It doesn't dodge very well as the other helicopter because it's a lot heavier as you can see. And it is modeled after a Black Hawk and a Comanche. So just imagine a Black Hawk and a Comanche that had a baby and it looks something like this. I painted it red so it looks good on the thumbnail, you know. I'm just trying to make the Coast Guards jealous of this uh, helicopter or anything. But yeah, this thing does pretty well. It's actually a gunship. It's not meant to, you know, uh, go head to head with uh, planes, you know. But uh, it does all. It does all right. So let's try against Marauder first. Then we'll take it up a notch against the crossbones. You can see. So it's a 60 millimeter cannon that shoots heat. It's actually quite fast shells. It's almost 900 meters per second right 650 rpm which is pretty good and you can see it does good amount of damage actually i think that damage is true oh, okay so let's, let's take a look at our outer here a, the behavior is actually ai behavior just like the other helicopter that I have but it's managed by the breadboard here turns going to attack here comes the APS heat shells you can see it bobs up and down quite a bit but I might actually make it a little bit more smoother because it's very aggressive on the defense so it does okay damage not gonna you know not too OP basically let's try against Crossbones. Crossbones shouldn't be able to hit me at all because it also does it dodges a uh, ram. Do 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 dodges. As you can see, make some maneuvers here to avoid some of the flak. And you can see the crossbones is easily defeating those missiles. So. It has six medium missiles, those are for air to ground or big targets, and then it has two uh, small missiles that are actually four, so it's basically eight. And those are just for AA purposes, as you can see. Later on I'll decorate them, you know, and maybe make them look like Hellfire missiles, we'll see. You can see it doesn't really have a chance to hit me, it, hitting it a little bit with the missiles there, but uh, it's not really doing much. Uh, obviously I can change the shell of the PS cannon, go like hash or something. You know, it, this is mostly a support vehicle, but it's very efficient. So if you look at the material use, it's very, very efficient. Barely uses anything. And it's for early game. About 54,000 materials right now. So it's a little bit expensive, you know. For early game, it's a little bit tiny expensive. Avoided oh, the cram, no problem. And you can see it does some really crazy maneuvers there. Might actually try to restrain it a little bit more, but uh, we'll see. So let's try against some polar targets. Let's try against. Make sure that it is reloaded and everything. Okay, let's give it some food. Okay, let's try against. Let's try against some planes, right? So you can see how it dodges stuff. Okay, two duster. Let's do four dusters, right? And see. Ooh. Very aggressive. 
trying to defeat those missiles and it managed to so I had to add some flares because it's such a big target and I do have some custom jet engines underneath just to control you know roll and pitch and yeah it generates a lot of heat and it also has an injector engine just to power the rotors ah what are you doing I don't know what is it doing right now it's doing some weird stuff so they actually updated the game today and there's like some new breadboard features and I um, hope that it didn't screw up some stuff on my helicopter but I think it's just coincidence I definitely need to fix the detection cause right now it's not very good very good dodge there very good dodge last second dodge going to turn and finish that duster so as you can see it defeats dusters no problem I uh, will try against some other things. And it got hit by the heat APS cannon. Alright, so as you can see, oh my god, it's making so many maneuvers <laughs> for no reason. But yeah, you can see it does some weird stuff sometimes. Um, let's try, so let's try against Ink Squad. So Ink Squad, uh, they're basically. Euro fighters, right? So they're basically Euro fighters. Yes, they are. Very nice model, by the way. This guys, only has missiles or have missiles. I mean, you can see it's doing some damage to them. Whoop! So three planes, no problem, dodging the missiles. Without any issue. Clipping the wing a little bit there. And it's doing some weird maneuvers. And almost hit the water there. It's very defensive right now because there's a lot of missiles flying around. Well, later on I will try to like build... Similar breadboard that it's a bit more intelligent or I will actually try to Lua this thing give it like Lua a Lua box with like dodging capabilities you know we'll see we'll see Oop, got EMP a little bit there does have some EMP protection here and there but it's not a lot because this thing is crammed with stuff. So, doing some damage, but um, didn't kill anything yet. You can see it does some like uh, opportunistic attacks sometimes. And unlike my other planes. Doing some. Okay, damage now. Fortunately, it's hitting the wings, not the body of the plane. Turns. One of them is quite damaged, 97%. That might sound like little, but uh, for a plane, a little tiny bit of hit, and you're gonna have problems. Taking a while. But these players are very confused. They don't know how to attack this thing right now. One of them is very high. I think it's going for the highest one. Oh, missiles. Very bad missiles. 
So later on I might also do a variant with a plasma cannon but as, because you know plasma is so efficient so much more efficient than an APS cannon a bit less versatile but against like AA stuff or air stuff is so good oh look at this upside down engagement So it's managing to keep at bay fighters, which is quite good. Did I take some damage? Nope. And as you can see, when it's about to get too low, right, we'll cancel all the dodging and just recover the aircraft or the helicopter in this case. Okay, one of them is out. One of them is out. Okay, hit. And another one. No, no, he's dead. <laughs> I'm alone. So this one has 96% health. You can see they're really struggling to do anything. Let's take a look. So yeah, I clipped his wing for sure. I think flies very very smoothly. But uh he definitely could This plane a little bit better. Playing very high. Doesn't know what to do. Bad for you, sir. Bad for you. Oh. Why is it not firing the missiles? Here. Some okay hits. Helicopter is doing point at right now. Come on. Could also make it uh, use charge behavior. I think charge behavior would be better though. I think it's better than point at. Actually, I'll actually change that. See if it makes. Better makes a difference, I mean. Yeah, it's definitely definitely a struggle of who's gonna attack who here. Oh, missed. Nothing. So let's try to change point that to charge right so actually this is the APS cannon right using uh, auto what do we call them auto loaders bad fat auto loaders right we have a lot of them and we have a small but powerful and quite efficient ejector engine how efficient are you uh, 500 ppm so it's pretty good so okay doesn't heat up at all and then we have some flares you know we have the AI is down here we have some custom jet engines here to control just pitch and roll they're not using I'm not using a push present right all the lift that I have is from this main propeller and also from these uh, ailerons you know we have some custom wings here and there so you know it's it's a proper helicopter. Anyway, uh, actually, oh, we don't have enough GGP here. Have enough GGP here. Okay. 
Maybe that was the problem? Okay. Alright, let's change that behavior. So, we have point at and maintain distance and attack run. So, we're gonna switch this. Ram. Maybe I use predictive guidance. I'll use predictive guidance. If that is better, then I have to tell the breadboard to charge. Let's see. So if B is is this B is. So B is altitude. Then yep. So C is B. Okay, so that's fine. That should work. So they actually added a lot more stuff now on the breadboard. As you can see, there's a lot more stuff and quite find out that some of my breadboards look different but uh they actually don't because they changed the primary target info now and as you can see it looks a bit different so might see something like this happening by some of my breadboards later on i'll have to update them have also standard cores under well if that makes a difference, really. We also have this. This is uh, what is it called? Complex control, right? Now we we get a false. You can actually see if it's triggering or not. Okay, nice. So there you know they're making some improvement to the breadboard here and there. So let's save it as or two here. It's because this thing is very work in progress right now. Helicopters are very finicky in this game. Right, let's try Link Squad again. Oh, it's doing charge. As you can see, if I do attack run, back to charge. So that should be okay now. Let's see if it's a bit more aggressive with the attack. And if it's not, we'll just uh, remove it. But I think it's better now. By the way, uh, Rambot can't really see out of this helicopter because it's like all made of armor. So it's basically like one of those futuristic ace combat helicopters. Whoop, we got hit a little bit there. It's trying to face this guy. Definitely hitting him a little bit. So next week I'm actually going to show you uh, something completely different. We're going to have some fun with dump missiles. water nice by the way as you can see the main propeller is actually pitching and yawing a little bit and that helps a lot oh uh, very nice hit on that guy very nice hit. so yeah this this definitely definitely working let's try apn with turn rate that makes a difference Oop, oh no and that's not good. I was doing some weird stuff now. If that was a coincidence, I don't know.
But I, it feels more aggressive now, for sure. Staying a lot more behind them. Good. Doing these uh, negative Gs though, I don't really like seeing vehicles do negative Gs. It doesn't look very natural. They dodged the missiles and I didn't hit them with the APS. I m definitely might change this to plasma cannon. Although well, this is really fun to watch. It's definitely a lot more aggressive now. Oh, per that's perfect. What are you trying to do? And uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh okay. So, so definitely the APN is not working. Let's do predictive guidance instead. Disengage. We'll do disengage 50 meters. Engage when range increased by. Okay. Let's try again. Uh, let's try again against dusters. Better. That's the thing from, from from the depths. You can't just use the same AI. Oh, oh no. From. Oh no. Ooh. So they hit my APS cannon there. Just nicked it a little bit. And it's in the water. Oh no. Yeah, you can't use the same AI for every single vehicle. Like, you can adapt it for, for a vehicle. What are you trying to do? Yeah, this thing, I might switch it to plasma later on. Because it has, you know, enough space. I just need to make sure that I have some sort of uh, generator for the batteries. I don't know what it's... What, yeah, it's doing some weird stuff now. It's definitely doing some weird stuff now. But we have the charge behavior. What are you trying to do? I don't think that makes any difference. However, right. Good. Fine. This case. Oh, by there is. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna add something else here. And I'm gonna add another safeguard here, just in case. That's the. Gonna add another safeguard here just in case. Hopefully that will work. Yeah, this thing has been giving me some trouble. It's very finicky. Okay, 
that's much better. You can see Rainbot is chilling outside the helicopter. And I think there's a missile that is stuck body of the helicopter, like usually. Yes, I I do have my missiles uh, marked as bombs, so they drop. Sometimes, you know, it still happens. Okay, that's good. Okay, oh my god. That is so much better, thank you. Right, let's try against Link Squad one last time. Missiles. Don't hit the water. There you go, nice. Nice, good recovery. But as you can see, if I make it too aggressive, it does these weird maneuvers. And if I don't make it aggressive, it gets hit. And the APS cannons goes boom. So later on, I might make it a little less aggressive on the dodging maneuvers. And I switch to plasma because I mean, I don't have an option really. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, good recovery. Very good recovery. Oh. That is so good. Very good recovery. So that definitely helped. That little tiny code that I just added on the breadboard made a huge difference. And yes, it's working. It's definitely working. So the only thing that to happen is that needs to focus a bit on one target of switching all the time. So I need to figure out how to do that. Uh, it's, it's doing a lot better than before. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh oh. Okay, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see videos and stuff on From the Depths. And I'll see you next time.